Hey everybody, Dr. Micah Colas with Oxbow Animal Health. We we'll hope everybody's doing well. It's been a little bit since we've given you an update regarding the ongoing spread of RHD, and there's been some new information that's come out, so we wanted to share a little bit of that with you. First of all, unfortunately, the virus is doing kind of what we expected the virus to do. It's continuing to spread. Uh, in the last couple weeks, there have been new reported cases in Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Oregon, and even the first cases in 2021 in Texas. So unfortunately, we are seeing more positive cases, and at this stage in the game, you know, we can clearly see that the virus has really affected almost every state west of the Rockies. We don't expect that spread to slow down. So we wanna make sure that we continue to be diligent and stay aware of where the virus is and if it's something you wanna be talking to your veterinarian about. Additionally, there was actually an initially positive reported case in Arkansas. Now, thankfully, that positive report has actually been retracted by the USDA. It's obviously a very, very good thing that the USDA is taking the additional steps and precautions to validate these positive tests, especially in new states. So as I've shared with all of you, while RHDV2 is fairly new to the United States, this is a virus that we've seen in many other countries worldwide for a couple of decades now. Because of that, there's actually been a fair bit of research that's been done looking at this virus, its behavior in specifically rabbits, and even some research that showed early on that this virus was found in other rodent species. Now that type of cross-species movement is not that uncommon in viruses, but what we do need to pay attention to is one specific paper that's recently come out of Europe that actually showed that a certain species of badger not only became infected with RHDV2, but was actually able to replicate the virus. That type of cross-species movement is certainly something that can be more concerning, and while we've not seen this type of behavior here in the United States, it's obviously something we wanna stay aware of. So what does all of this information mean? What it means to us is that we know the virus is continuing to spread. And the single most important thing that I would ask of all of you is do not let your guard down. If you live in a state or a state that's adjacent to a state with positive cases, we really wanna minimize any potential risk for your animal to come in contact with the virus. Talk with your veterinarian if you're thinking about travel, making sure that you're taking those extra precautions. If you do live in a state where the actual vaccine is available, work with your veterinarian. Provide your animal that preventative care. And while unfortunately there are some organizations that have decided now is the time to actually loosen their restrictions, that's actually the exact opposite of what we should all be doing. This is a virus that has a very severe, potentially lethal input to your animals. Continue to take those precautions, continue to make smart decisions, and we here at Oxbow will continue to share information with you as it becomes available. Thanks and take care.